Hi everyone. This is my second video on the junk journaling that I just started. And um, this is one that I made for my sister. And now uh, I'm just going to do a flip through before I mail it out to her. Um, she is a photographer and an author. She writes novels. And um, she was always interested in, when I was growing up and stuff in um, making her own clothes and um, typewriters and typing. She was a, you know, a secretary. Um, so anyway, um, I put this together with things that remind me of her. And um, on my mom's side of the family... We have a lot of Italians, and my sister, I remember her learning how to speak Italian. And um, so I, I found this journal that was made in Italy. Um, and it's got, you know, pages on it that she, she could, uh, she can keep track of her thoughts and, and things from maybe her characters and her stories different ideas that she might have. That was the thought there on that one. And there's a little bead on there. And I also thought it was interesting because of the bird. Um, my sister takes a lot of pictures of wildlife. She lives out in the state of Washington and she is, apparently there's a rainforest out there, which I never knew until she moved there. And um, she goes for nature walks, and she, she takes a lot of pictures. So um, I, that's why I have animals. She took a beautiful picture of a fox. And so I, I had to get a rubber stamp that had foxes and woodland critters and stuff. And that's a little card I made for her to journal on. And she can journal on the back of this. And, of course, you know, move it any way she wants. And then I made, she takes beautiful pictures of um, mushrooms and toadstools and things that she sees in the woods. Um, and so I put these danglies on here because they reminded me of her. And um, this is an old fashioned typewriter, the journal card, um, typewriter here on the paper. And um, this is a little little book that I slipped in here for her. My neighbor taught me how to make these. These are really cute. And you can write down, jot down notes and things inside of it. And then she also was very interested in calligraphy and ink pens and things when we were growing up. So that's why I have these here. And fountain pens. That's the word I think I was looking for. <laughs> and then there's some cards in here. In this little pocket here, she could either journal on them or use them to send to family and friends, whatever she wants to do with them. Of course, here's another old typewriter here in the corner. And then this has the dressmaker um, mannequin, I guess that you would call. And then um, put some cards here. And this is an old pattern on for pants, I believe. Pants and a skirt. And here's another little card, and it's different patterns. And then I included some watercolor paper, because she likes to do art. I made her some more journal cards here. This one has a fairy on it. And then I made this. It's got a fairy hanging off of it. It's got her initial on it. And there's another card there. 
from this paper clip here with a little dangle, a little, little gemster rhinestone typewriters. Again, some stickers if she wants to put them in different places and little cards. Little bird down here with the egg. And then this is just a sketch paper, a piece of sketch paper. This one is um, magic, magic potions and things, I guess. And a palmist. She was very into that when she was younger also. And she dreams. And she's very good at interpreting dreams. And here's another page that had a lot of things to do with old typewriters and things. And she rides her bicycle sometimes down the na different nature paths she goes on. This is a little mouse with a camera. And these are some coloring book pages from a book called Color Me Jane, which is a uh, Jane Austen novels. There's various ones in here. And this one has a couple of pages to color from Pride and Prejudice. And this is um, tracing paper. And then, you know, this is nature things, birds and feathers and ducks. She takes beautiful pictures of ducks. And then this, this was um, a, a handwriting, little handwriting card. And the reason that I put this one in here, besides the fact that she was always into penmanship and writing with fountain pens and typing and with words, with characters and things. Her husband's name is in there, <laughs> which I thought was kind of neat. So I had to put that there. And then I have a, a little uh, clip here that has uh, a dragonfly on it, a doily. And this, this, um, this right here kind of was steampunky to me. And, um, got some rubber stamps on it some of my rubber stamps and she likes steampunk she was gothic before gothic was a thing um another journal card another pocket and it says here she flies with brave wings flowers she could put embellishment she could put in different places more more journal cards mushrooms had to had to rubber stamp some mushrooms of course <laughs> more journal cards pockets and things like a story this is like a card with like a story written on it and then these are some embellishments for her to use Tracing paper and the other page, the other sides of the pages to Pride and Prejudice, and it says here that happy for all her maternal feelings was the day on which Mrs. Bennett got rid of her two most deserving daughters, Pride and Prejudice, eighteen thirteen. The bag here's another card with some fairies on it, all glittery. <laughs> Drawing paper, some a sheet that's got like typewriter letters on it. And then some old photograph cards and an old Polaroid camera. This reminds me of our father because he used to like to take, he used to take pictures with the old Polaroids. I remember when we were younger. And this, of course, she likes peacocks and took some very beautiful peacock pictures. And then this is from a photo studio, portrait studio, and different frames. Um, sorry, I wasn't even in the in the camera here. Um, 
getting used to things still. Some old photos here that I collaged together to, to keep a little uh, card there that can be written on. And then this one, this is my sister's packet. I think that these two little girls look like sisters or reminded me of my sister and myself. There's a little bag here. And then inside of this little envelope are just some different things that reminded me of us when we were growing up. I got poinsettias here that my mother loved and like a Santa Claus that looks like he's from the 60s. I have um, a deer in here, some deer that reminded me of my dad. He was quite the hunter. So um, anyway, that is kind of like a trip down memory, the memories, memory lane when we were younger. So I kind of put that together for her. It's got a little heart paper clip. It's funny because when I watch other people that do the junk journal flip throughs, um, you can't really do it very fast. I give them a lot of credit for how they um, put their videos together. Some, some are very beautiful. I'll put that together later. On the other side of that clip was this paper that I had found that you can, it's apparently a neon page where you can do neon colors and it had the dragonflies and flowers and stuff. And that reminded me of her also because she has some beautiful photographs of dragonflies. And then on the last page here, more cameras and dragonflies and bird bookmarks and more journal pages with birds or journal cards with birds and um, bunny rabbits and, and things. And so that's my second journal that I made for my sister. Thank you.